Yo, what's going on, guys? JK, and today I'm doing things that we all did in primary school too. Now, if you haven't seen the first one that I did of this, make sure you go click here and go watch the first things that we all do in primary school, the first episode, because I recommend you go watch that. That's my most viewed video on this channel in this moment in time. It's got almost got 11,000 views, which is good for me, and that's crazy. So I thought I should do two, because a lot of you guys were asking for an episode two. Now, at the beginning or the end of the assembly, you would have this session when you have the prayer, and everyone had their hands together and they would close their eyes. But me and a few other people, sometimes we didn't buy hands together and we didn't close our eyes and we thought that we were cool. We thought we were so hardcore and we thought we were living a thug life. Now in PE when we had this big, it was like this big thing, I don't know what it is, it's like this, everyone in a circle you do this, here's a picture, yeah you did that. Now when we got told we were doing this in PE, literally everyone, everyone in the class would shit their self with excitement, it was the best. They, they were just awesome, they were just big and you would just... The teacher would always say, hold this is like this, so the blade's in your hand, so it can't stab you, because it's in there, so it wouldn't stab you. The teacher used to say, if you're holding like this, then if you fall, you're gonna kill yourself. And she used to say, or he used to say, that they used to have a student, and he killed himself, or she killed himself from holding his scissors, not like this, but like this. You are sick minded. Now whenever we used to watch like a film or something, or like a little clip in class, in some cases it would often be Bob the Builder, don't ask why. Bob the Builder was awesome, it's good. Anyway, the thing she would come on and be like, Bob the Builder, can he fix it? Bob the Builder, no, he can't. <laughs> Banter. Banter. Ow. Now, whenever you hurt yourself, you get the medical person or dinner lady or whatever to put a wet paper towel on your arm. Now, we didn't ask for a paper towel on our arm, we asked, we just cried or something and they would just put a paper towel on your but it's wet and it it's just didn't help it was just stupid but you know if the incident was serious if you had one of these put on your arm you know that you were you were almost dead you were almost gonna die you had a real serious injury or illness or something and you would have to go home and go to hospital fuck all these on you you can't you can't right you dead mate I stack I stack now all the boys out there, or some girls, maybe have had these football boots, and they were called Nike Total 90s. I had about, I had two pairs of these. I had a red and gold and silver pair, and a black and silver pair. They looked like this. You had them in trainers and football boots. So they, they were just awesome. You know, you couldn't not go wrong with your Nike Total 90s. Look at them. Amazing. But like, if you didn't have a pair of them. I don't know what to. I, I, I don't know what to say. Now this would really piss me off. So if you're playing football with a leather ball that someone brought in and you hit it and it hit someone on the leg really lightly, didn't hurt them. They just made out that it hurt because that's primary school. Everyone does that. They'd be like ah ah. <laughs> and the teacher would come and take the ball off you and give you a sponge ball. Good one, mate. Yeah, fuck you. Yeah. Why? You just took all the fun out of it. When you kick it, it's not going to go as far. It just glides, and then you have the dicks that just pick it up and fuck it all up. So you ruin all the fun. I've never had a mental maths test or something. English test, I don't know. Mental maths. Quite often mental maths, you know. 20 questions. Mental maths was great. Hi, I am going to read the following question twice. You have five seconds to th work out your answer and write it down. Question one. And then you get to question ten, it'll be ten seconds to answer it. It's so on, so on, so on, and it'll just be like, you're a dick. She was a bitch. Anyway, everyone would have to cover their answers, because they didn't want anyone else to see. Don't let them over. Bunch of cheating six-year-old bastards. Which? What was the five plus two question? Bitch, I ain't telling you. Now back to PE again. When you had like these little cones, look like this, these cones. Now at the end of the lesson, the teacher would always say, so on, so on, whoever you are, they wouldn't say that, they would say your name. But for example, let's call someone Nigel. Nigel, pick up all the cones. Poor Nigel, you'll have to run and get the cones, but obviously you get other lick asses in the class, just come and run out and get cones too. Anyway, Nigel would think he's the class bomb, wouldn't he? 
class clown, class comedian, class everything, celebrity, you know, if you put something up, one on his head, a cone on his head, we've all done it, don't mind, you put a cone on your head. Now if you haven't done that, then where have you been, living under a cone? <laughs> under a cone? No. No, it was funny at the time, right? <sighs> So guys, I hope you did enjoy this video. If you did, go and drop a like. Also, if this related to any of you, members, comment below if it related to you or not. And drop a like if it did. And possibly copy the link of this video and put it on Twitter and Facebook. And then other people, your friends, can watch it and see if any of it happened to them. Let's see if we can get to 500 likes on this video. It's a big ass, but let's see if we can do it as this is episode 2, so it won't get as much attention as episode 1. So let's try and do it. This. <laughs> That's it, guys. I hope you enjoyed this video. Peace out. I didn't realize you were still here. Um, bye.